This video really isn't for you. It's actually for me. I'm making this video so I can watch it and remember all the buildings that used to fascinate me before being torn down to make way for predictable townhomes. The area around Hempstead Highway and Old Katy Road, just inside 610, has some of the coolest industrial architecture on the west side, and bit by bit, it's all going away. I've been watching over the last few years as more and more of these buildings disappear, and although I'm sure there will be some holdouts, the rest of these will soon be gone. Subscribe. The area I'm talking about is just west of Timber Grove inside the loop at the intersection of two active and several abandoned railroad lines. This intersection used to mean a lot to Houston. It was here that Old Katy Road, replaced by I-10, ran west along a now-gone MKT route. The Sunset Route, which runs a short path across the west side of town, terminates into the Union Pacific Line connecting Houston and Dallas here. Hempstead Highway, which was later replaced by 290, parallels the tracks from here to the Beltway. Before the completion of 10 and 290 as we know them, Katy Road and Hempstead Highway were the primary routes west and northwest of the city. I'll get to them in another video. Someday. This crucial intersection created the perfect scenario for industrial development, and starting in the 30s, this area was filled with warehouses and fab yards of all kinds. The infrastructure was no small feat. The railroad tracks were spurred into many of the complexes, running alongside the warehouses for loading and unloading. The buildings were expansive, some over 100,000 square feet. There were shipping warehouses, pipe fabricators, gravel yards, anything loud and unsightly that needed a place close into the city. My favorite in all of this is this cast concrete prairie style mid-rise office building inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright's works. It was originally the headquarters of a company called Big Three Industries and it was designed by Carl Kamrath, one of Houston's most notable architects of all time. It was completed in 1973 and from the looks of it, it's vacant now. Don't tear it down. But as industrial life at the warehouses was going along as normal, Houston was blazing towards the 21st century and things were changing. As the city rebounded from the 80s oil crash and land inside the loop began to rise in value, the expansive warehouse buildings began to be purchased and demolished. First, they were demolished for office buildings, simple and nondescript, not fancy, mostly along Old Katy Road. The first townhome developments came in the 90s. Today, most of the land that was once occupied by industrial buildings here has been redeveloped mostly into townhomes with some apartments mixed in. Tracks this large inside the loop are hard to come by and developers drooled over them as prices and desire to live in the city increased. This was kind of an undiscovered corner of Houston inside the loop, but not yet affected by the price escalation you would see in places like Montrose. The biggest redevelopment here was Heinz 46 acre Somerset Green, an over 500 unit townhome development that was started in 2016-ish and still has houses under construction today, I think. The contrasting and bifurcated neighborhood yields some really interesting scenes. Here, flashy new townhomes priced over 400 grand sit across the street from a still operating machine shop. This construction yard operates in gritty glory right across the railroad tracks from the European-inspired canals of Somerset Green, which occupy a lot that once looked a lot like this. Thankfully, not everything of old is slated to be removed. This abandoned building is apparently becoming a trendy retail strip, which I will take any day over demolition. Now, in all this, I shouldn't be too sentimental. Tear down and rebuild is in a lot of ways the mantra of Houston architecture, and while I'll be sad when some of these buildings go, I can't say I'll be surprised. So let's take this as a farewell tour.